previously on Canadian Computer Collector. What do you mean you don't have the money? I have the money? No, you have the money. What do you mean I don't have the money? What do you mean you don't have the money? But he owes the organization over a trillion dollars. We were closest. I'll take care of him. And his diarrhea. No, don't shoot! Bang! Ugh. I'm dead. No, no, no! Just kidding. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Canadian Computer Collector video. It feels like it's been a while since we've done something, um, like this. Today we're going to do an unboxing of something I picked up recently. It's not a new product by any stretch of the imagination. It is a classic Apple product. I, it seems to be pretty intact, uh, you know, like an animal that hasn't been spayed or neutered. Um, and I thought, why not go through it together? Because this looks like a good example of what could be a pretty cool machine, why not enjoy it with my friends? you uh together it's a macintosh lc2 aka the deuce now the deuce wasn't just another 68k macintosh it was a step up from the original lc came with a 68030 chip an upgrade from the original lc's 68020 and the base models came with four megs of soldered ram a base model would run you a sticker price of 1699 US dollars, which is roughly 3435 today. So it's not cheap. And with inflation, you know, that could be well over 15000 in the next four or five months. Base models also came with a 40 meg hard drive, but if you really wanted to let your hair down, an 80 meg was available. It also shipped with a standard 256 kilobyte VRAM SIM, but if you want an upgrade to a 512, you can do that too. A fully upgraded machine would run you a total of about 2,049 US dollars, so basically 4,143 US dollars today, or well over 4,000 Krispy Crunch bars. But with inflation, again, that could be 10 Krispy Crunch bars by noon tomorrow. Looks pretty cool, hey? Another tower of power, one might say. One might say. Well, anyway, I should probably sit back down. So here we have it, ladies and gents. The LC2, the Style Rider printer, and the Style Rider accessory kit. Ooh. Copyright 1991. I'm gonna move the printer aside. The Style Rider, if you will. And let's hop right into this LC2. All right, so slight camera adjustment, so my fez is visible. I hope to God that you can actually see me, because we're just gonna get started. First things first, first impressions, we've got extra tape on the top of the box. So this thing's been around, and it looks like someone tried to preserve it a bit. There's some peeling starting here, so it's not a perfect example, but it is in actually pretty good shape. Upon opening said box, we have a wonderful view. Let's grab this camera. Okay, so this is what you would see on that beautiful, hopefully sunny day in 1991 when you brought home your LC2. Like I said, this is a pretty good example. We've got the plastic on everything still. We've got the microphone, the mouse, the keyboard, accessory kits. So why don't we dive a little further in and take a look at some of this 90s goodness. Let's pull this keyboard out to start. Now, it's not a minty example. I do have better ones here. This one has some permanent marker on it. I'm not worried about that, but let's put it aside. Got the cable to go with it. Apple microphone, talking about, talking about, pretty clean box. We've got the original mouse, the desktop bus mouse, and an accessory kit. Ooh. What I should point out my watch today is a Nintendo watch with some of your favorite characters. Okay. Ugh. Now, this accessory kit, in my hand, kind of like a first person thing here. Uh, here's what it would have come with back in 1991. We've got system discs, which I would hope are still there. I think, I think so. 
Uh, indeed they are. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. System discs, intact. We got the getting started guide, the user's guide, and more. Warranty, software license, all that kind of stuff. Down here we have complete. Please complete and nail this registration card. Everyone wanted you to register your products back in the day. One year limited warranty. Customer assistance center. Software license information. And oh, look at this. This is cool. Choose from these free gifts when you mail your registration card. You get a high speed foam back mouse pad. You know me, I love high speed mouse pads. And there's your registration card. Very cool stuff. And of course, standard power cable. Wouldn't expect any less. Let's get that all back in the box and move on to the next thing. Okay, so, so far, what do we got? Keyboard, accessory kit with discs and such, microphone, and a mouse. Now, it's time to move further on into the box by removing the styrofoam. We have the machine itself, clad in beautiful plastic wrapping. We have one Macintosh LC2, as described. So let's pull her on out here. Got a, oh, the all-important display converter. Converter, I almost said converter there. That's not how you say words. So here we have the actual computer. Let's pull all this stuff out of the plastic. Let's start with the machine. Looks like she's yellowed a little bit. She's a little bit dirty, but not the, not the end of the world. How is it on the inside? Let's have a look. Ever so gently. Oh yeah, nice and clean. Maybe a little bit of dust, but looks like we've got some potentially upgraded RAM modules. Viking components. We kill your computer in a good way. Watch out, Saxon. We've got RAM modules. There we go. Okay. We are in, like Flint. Keyboard, a vector cord. Up next, the microphone. Lucky us. Now we can talk to our friends on the line. You know, I'm standing still and like hunched over like an idiot. Pretty straightforward. This is a microphone you've seen on many of these units low these many years. So maybe we'll leave that out, but probably won't be using it. Mouse, exactly as expected. Uh, oh, we already have power going in that side, so we'll plug it on this side. And I guess we should fan out some of our discs, uh, our uh, accessory kit stuff here. Okay, on to our style rider. So if you slide this stuff over just slightly, we make room for the box. All right, so just like the other one, still has everything intact. Oh my goodness. Let's get that flap in the way. We got the style rider owner's guide. Very cool. And the style writer itself. So I'm gonna have to put this phone down. We can pull this up with two hands. This is a very lightweight printer. So no complaints here. I'm pulling that out of the box. Looks like it comes in two pieces. Decent amount of yellowing going on. Slide that in till it clicks. 
That's what she said. Oh boy. That was irresponsible. And the Style Rider accessory kit. So, what happened here? Everything you could ever want from a little metal clip to hold your paper. Of course, of course. A horse, of course. We've got power adapter. Uh, looks like an Amigo AC adapter. That's probably not from Apple. Uh, system peripheral eight cable. Yeah, I can see what that's for. The printer. Now, plug that in. Plug that in. Let's get a big family shot of all the products here with the boxes and all that stuff because we're doing it, we're doing it right this time. Wait, wait. All right, this is it folks. This is the LC2 completely unboxed. All the manuals, all the paperwork, uh, all the boxes, all the sub boxes, software, um, everything you could ever dream of, um, except, you know, a better life. <laughs> anyway, imagine if you were in 1991, maybe this was a better life for you, you know? Maybe this was a big upgrade for you, having a style writer in an LC2. That is entirely possible, I'm sure there are lots of people who fit that bill. Uh, but. Uh, you know what, uh, you know what, uh. Let's get this thing plugged in and let's see if it works. Let's put it to the test. Let's uh, stop talking and start walking. Let's uh, pull out the gat and quit messing around with that, you know? Let's uh, put five large on a dog named Marge, you know? Anyway. Hi to a crazy cat named June. Oh, big stretches. Turn the printer on. Printer's on. Okay. With an error light. Yeah. Legit. Yeah, that is easily the weirdest, most horrible noise I've heard from a machine. Let's see. Okay, insert a disc. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, yeah, here we go, here we go. Kinda curious to see if we can print something. Although I'm not confident now that this thing isn't booting as if it has a functional hard drive. Check out this tape thing, isn't this cool? What? Okay, I've got like two sheets left of what I call resume paper. So let's see if we can actually get something done here. I'm gonna turn this off. Hit power. Okay, nope, still an error. What have we got here? So, we got eight megs of memory, uh, and no hard drive registering. I didn't notice, I didn't actually look if there was one inside, so I guess maybe let's just take a peek. All right, well, I live downtown, so the sound of emergency vehicles is unavoidable. Anyway, the homie Bruce said, the noise we're getting is the sound of a chip drowning in electrolytic fluid. But which chip is it? I think we found it. This fella looks a little bit wet. Oh yeah, that's definitely it. Oh, we got wetness in a couple spots. A wetness here on the chip. Yeah. 
And just as something we were looking at prior to this, when it was booting, we weren't registering a hard drive. And as you can see, this one is in fact plugged in, but it is from 1990s. So that would be the problem. Looks like this guy has a capacitor issue and a hard drive issue, which isn't the end of the world, of course, but it's a machine that will need to be restored. So let's get this bad girl in line and Get it cleaned up. Okay, so yeah, that's this one. All in all, I, I think this was still a great buy. Uh, I paid about 200 bucks for this machine with the boxes and uh, no monitor, of course, but with the style writer printer as well. So overall, I think we did okay. It needs a little bit of work. The case is yellowing a little bit on the front. The keyboard has some yellowing and a little bit of permanent marker on it. Bit of a mystery on the style writer. Anyway, I look forward to fixing this one up. This video is just supposed to be an unboxing, kind of an intake. As I pulled the thing out of the box and plugged it in, I sent a message off to some of the Mac Yak fellas about the sound and uh, Bruce asked if it had been washed yet and I said no. This is Bruce from Brancus Creations. Make sure you check his channel out. Brancus Creations or Branches Creations. Put a little thing here. So basically he said that if I hadn't washed it yet, that was the sound of a chip drowning in electrolytic fluid. This board will need to be cleaned and recapped and uh, you know, it's gonna need a hard drive as well because a hard drive was dead. Um, also a quick reminder to those that we have a competition out right now from last week's, I guess this would be the edited video two weeks ago where we're giving away the Nickelodeons, Nicktoons, Nicktoons, as well as the um, AMD board, I think it was. I just want to remind everyone to like and subscribe to the channel if you made it this far. If you don't want to, you know what? I can't, I can't do anything about that. Uh, and I'm not gonna cry, I promise, I won't cry. Also, if you're interested in checking out our social media, there are links in the description below. There's also links to buy me a coffee and our Patreon if you're interested in supporting the channel. Shout out to Trina Conrad, our newest Patreon. Remember, we only charge a dollar or a dollar fifty Canadian if you're into it to be a part of this channel where you will get endless shout outs and mentioned in the credits. So shout out to all of our patrons. We got Garth Beagle, Mac84, Ethan Palomero, Trina Conrad, and my man Ron Resnick. I am the Canadian Computer Collector. We do an edited video every two weeks. We do a live stream on the uh, off week. So check us out, weekly content every week. Uh, and it's strong, not weak. <laughs>